like to introduce uh, two of my uh, my players here. Come on up. Joey Gatewood and Bo Nix are two quarterbacks. Okay, so these guys right here, one of these two guys will be our starting quarterback here in 80, what, two days? All right, we play the Oregon Ducks. All right, but uh, real excited about these guys and their leadership and, and just can't wait for the season. Now, I brought these guys for a reason, okay? So they're, they're, they're going to help me judge a little bit. I don't know if you've noticed or you watch me, but when we score a touchdown, I get excited. And, of course, I'm a big Tiger Woods fan, too. And so what I do when we score, I kind of go way down. I come up and I go, boom, like that. So here's what I want to do. I want to have a little contest here. All right, so here in just a second, I'm going to ask all the students to, to stand up. And then I'm going to ask all the parents to stand up. And I'm going to let these two guys judge who wins in the best boom. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Golly, that's pretty good right there now. Wow. The parents are the winners. I really believe you are coming at the best time. And uh, the thing about Auburn is we're family. And, and it's not just talk. And I'm talking about whether it's our football team, our basketball team, our baseball team swimming, or students, or band. We're all together. And you'll feel it right off the bat. We root for each other. So really appreciate the parents, appreciate the students, all you do. War Eagle. Hey man, we finna go out here, pat down uh, spot, you feel me? Finna go out here. I'm finna go out here with this fishing tournament, you feel me? So I don't know, I can't speak for everybody else. I've been doing this. I do this. I'm a jack of all trades, baby. Come on. Go get your fishing lesson. Ooh, I got a bit. Come on. Cody, what you got? Let me go get them for you. Hold on. Come get them for me. Hold on. That's nice side. That's nice side. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a dog. Give me a dog. All right. Hold on, man. Woo! There we go. Come on, Cody. Hey, bro. What's up? Hey, back up. Hey. Come on, man. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Tighten up. You got a man up. Tight. That grip tight, yeah. Yeah. You got him. You got him. Now hold There you go. Yeah. All them guys out in front of you is like way out your arm length. Hold on. Turn at him face. Oh boy, you got about a seven pound. Hey, get the scale ready. Get the scale ready. Get my pop. Well, my name is Pat. Wow. I ain't caught one fish yet, bro. <laughs> Oh, he on out! 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 He thought he was on! He thought he was on! He right there! He right there! He go! He go! He go! He go! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Way it's over with. Got my first one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, where's my dog? Where's the dog got one? Yes, sir. Here we go. Can't tell him nothing now. Now I gotta give me another one. Gotta get another one. So when anyone ever sees me, you know, they either ask me about my hair or they ask me about my tattoos. And, you know, they ask me if there's a deeper meaning behind them. And to start, I got the money going through the hourglass. And, you know, the saying is time is money, but to me it's, it's deeper than that. It's not wasting any opportunity you get, you know. Time is very valuable and we only got one life to live and it's how you use that time and, you know, it's for the better. And then moving up from there, I got the rose. And the rose was my grandma's favorite flower. I remember, you know, her, us playing dominoes or something, you know, chilling. And, you know, she would go to the grocery store, she would come back, and she would always, every now and then, bring back a rose or something, because that's just something she was always interested in and she loved. And the one that kind of has the deepest meaning to me is, and it's one of my smallest ones, is, uh, is the palm tree. And the palm tree represents my days at my junior college, at Scottsdale Community College. And it's not just me going there, it's everything that happened there for me to get to here. 24 hours away from my home in Chicago, taking that chance and just believing in myself and getting there, gray shirting, having to get two jobs, th three jobs at one point, working at a nightclub from you know, 9, 9 p.m. to 
4 a.m. and having practice at 6 a.m. and just that whole grind, that, 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 that grind that really turns you into a man and like growing up quick and you realize stuff and you gotta realize what's important and you gotta put your, your passions in front of, you know, maybe like partying or your friends. You gotta just, you know, believe in yourself and that's, that's my favorite tattoo right there. That's, that's the one that really touches home to me and it really tells a deep story. So for the regional game, uh, my wife and I, we had some guys over and we were just kind of grilling and watching the game. And I think we were playing Taboo or something and we, didn't, we, we just had the game on, we weren't really paying attention too much. And then all of a sudden it was bottom of the ninth and turned the volume up and it was a walk off. And <laughs> our whole house went nuts. We were going crazy watching the game. Uh, it, was a, it was a really cool really cool thing to watch. Um, I, know, I know exactly what that guy's feeling. It's, it's one of the best feelings in sports and I was so happy for him and, and the team uh, and really this university. And then for them to go on and play North Carolina and handle business like they did. Definitely pretty cool, pretty cool to watch. Very cool for this university to, to experience together. It's been really cool to be in a locker room and just feel that brotherhood because some guys do call me dad or pops or something like that, but I'm I'm <laughs> I'm 24. Um, you know, it's it's uh, I'm not that old. I feel like I'm still somewhat in my prime. Uh, <laughs> at least I like to think so. I told those guys be thankful for the guys that you have around you because for, for these next three or four years you have a chance to really develop friendships um, that that will last forever um, and you're gonna have guys that are there with you and you know that's something for me when I was 18 and I was drafted I wasn't fortunate enough to to know for sure that I'm gonna you know have those guys whether it's guys getting released or traded um, you're just not sure what what's gonna happen uh, tomorrow so very very thankful to be in this situation and, and being a uh, an environment and a culture where it's a brotherhood family. We were uh, for the brand. Ah. Hey, for the brand on three, for the brand on three, what's it do? Yeah. 